And uh, I have an, an also throwbacky pick as well. This is this is so my awesome th- this. Okay, this is this is multifaceted. This is my awesome thing of the week, and uh, our buddy Rob, uh, cameraman Rob, that works with us on a lot of uh, uh, video productions, also shared part of this. First of all, my awesome thing is that there is a new Ninja Turtles video game coming out. No release date um, that I'm aware of as of yet. It is uh, Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. It is that '80s cartoon style. The the uh, several a couple minutes of of 80 style updated april's doing karate moves you people this is great it's just very updated 80 style uh, uh uh ninja turtles and of course the game itself is going to be uh very again that 80s 90s economy uh beat em up arcade style of uh ninja turtles that i love you know when i've been playing the ninja turtles rescue palooza fan game and it looks like oh it's that but won't glitch as hard hopefully uh it's by uh um dotamu who has been doing a lot of the retro i think they just did the it's the same people that did the streets of rage 4 which i finally finished by the way <laughs> i said it to online and said hey it got somebody on that actually knew how to play the game, and they helped kind of carry me through the rest of the level. So it was great. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I'm I, I'm completely up for this. Just picked up the the the, the re-release of the Scott Pilgrim video game. Um, you know, I, I just I just love these like this '80s stu- this '80s throwback stuff. But on top of that, if you may, I believe that that trailer does have the old school theme song. But that theme song is actually uh, sung by Mike Patton. Of faith, no more. Doing his rendition of it, so all of the '80s, '90s nostalgia wrapped all into this thing. Again, no release date, but you have my Ninja Turtle money. <laughs> so, uh, but no, I'm looking forward to that for sure. Uh, so, um, I, 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 you, you, you guys are, are Turtles fans, right? <laughs> and in fact, I, where were we? We went somewhere. Not last summer, the summer before. It was in upstate Michigan, and in one of the, the, I went actually to like a retro arcade bar, and mm-hmm. they had the old four-player arcade Ninja Turtles game. Oh, so always so great when you can find one of those somewhere. I, I would always find the one and play it every week, every year at a Retro FX or Replay FX here in town. Um, I, I, in fact, the uh, you ever see the six-player X-Men one? Uh, when yes. I visited our old friend Veronica out there in uh, in uh, San, San Diego several years ago, we found one of those in their b- local barcade. So um, no, that that that's the golden age of arcades for me. You know, is it the Street Fighter and and Konami beat 'em up style uh, uh, games were like the highlight of, of of that era for that that's of, of uh, arcades. So uh, Katie, you looking forward to this one? Yeah, looks like a lot of fun. It was really <laughs> funny because speaking of nineties, I started rewatching Blossom because it's on Hulu now. <laughs> and they were talking about the Ninja Turtles movie and Joey was commenting about uh, their acting abilities, the Turtles acting abilities, and except for Michelangelo because he was pretty much just playing himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, um, funny you say that because I was watching something. I, I got the month free for Paramount Plus and they have a Console Wars documentary on there. And it's mostly directly about Nintendo versus Sega. Um, and they talk to everybody that was in charge it's fantastic but they talk about i think it was the nintendo no was a sega was it nintendo one of them had dustin diamond and joey lawrence as their like celebrity presenters for the games i think it was sega Whoa. yeah yeah they're and they made a big deal about like we really couldn't afford a-list celebrities well we could afford teen heartthrobs Mm-hmm. Screen- that's all they needed that's all you need that's your demo right there guys um no it was a very <laughs> it was really well done because i started watching and this is like a professional documentary but i've been watching so many video game historian and toy galaxy do- <laughs> like youtube documentaries that i wasn't ready for a professional one <laughs> and it just like still felt like the same thing so um yeah that's that's been my latest uh uh burn through that and unbox watching people unbox original iPhones uh so <laughs>